In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect HY300 to iPad. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. Regardless of which iPad model you have, you will be able to connect your HY300 projector. This will be done primarily wirelessly. So for this method, you will need to download a specific application and you will be able to mirror anything on your iPad's screen wirelessly to your HY300. So the app that you need is called AirPin Pro. If you don't have this app installed by default, then look for it on the Play Store directly on your HY300. You don't need to download anything on the iPad, only on the HY300. This app will have AirPlay features, so this is why we want to use it instead of something like Miracast. So it is more reliable and it is built for this function exactly. So check to see if you have AirPin. If you don't, download it. And then once you open up AirPin, you will see the option to enable AirPlay. So make sure that it is toggled on. You can then change some other options. So you can change the quality. Usually 960p will be good enough, but if you want, you can try increasing it to something like 1080p. But be aware that you will need a lot of bandwidth and fast network speeds to get this done. And for the rest of the settings, I recommend not messing with them at all. You can change them if you know what you are doing, but for the most part, it isn't going to be needed. Now, once AirPin is open on your HY300, you will be able to connect your iPad by swiping down from the top, going over to this icon here. So these two rectangles are going to refer to screen mirroring. And upon choosing this option, you will be able to find your HY300 projector on the list. If it does not appear, make sure that you restart the projector and you can try opening the AirPin app and leaving it open in the background. As long as the app is installed and running in the background, it is going to be discoverable in the screen mirroring section of your iPad. And upon choosing it, anything being displayed on your iPad will be immediately mirrored over to the HY300. So I hope I was able to help you on how to connect your HY300 projector to HDMI or rather iPad. If this video helped you, consider subscribing. As you can see, 83% of the people watching our videos are not subscribed. If you subscribe, you can help us from the channel bring you the highest quality solutions to your problems. So I highly count on your subscription. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.